Okay, this video is to help you calculate relative standing. After establishing a graph by creating bins and the relative frequencies of all the scores within the bins, you'll have a setup like this in which the graph will be next to the set of data that you have. Uh, this column will have the bins and then the calculated data from the histogram function uh, will show up here. Now, to calculate relative standing, we'll take an easy location on the figure to work with first. Um, and that would be um, right here. Um, the bin that holds all the data for 60 and 61 uh, inches. If you take your cursor and mouse over the bar, it will show you that the bin you're on is 60 and that there is a total of 24 individuals in that column. You'll also see the same thing over at the table. The location of the bin 60 shows also that there are 24 individuals in that column. Now to calculate your relative standing, what you need to do is take one half of the people in that column. Now there's 24 people in that column, so 12 is one half, and then add it to the number for each of the three columns below it. So if we actually come up here and look at the table, so we have actual numbers. Uh, there are 24 people in the column of 60, so we're going to take 12 of them. And we're going to add that to the 5, the 2, the 5, and the 0. And so the 12 plus the 5 is 17, plus 2 more is 19, plus 5 more is going to be 24. So the total number of scores that are below your value of height in this hypothetical example would be 24. So all you have to do is calculate um, 24 divided by the total number of scores in this data set. In this particular data set, the total number of scores is 530. And once that's calculated, you'll get a value, and this is exactly what you have to uh, place as an answer. 0 0.045283. Now, if you are going to calculate your relative standing from a column that has an odd number of uh, scores, then you simply have to divide by 2 for that column and that will give you a decimal place. So for example, um, if you're in bin 66 and you mouse over it, it will show you that you have 99 scores in that column. Now if you're going to find your relative standing um, and your height is in this column which contains values 66 and 67, you have to take one half of the 99 values in here and then add them to all the scores below and then divide by the total number of scores. So in this particular case, um, if we come up here, uh, we see that at bin 66 there are 99 people. So to do the uh, math very quickly, just using Excel functions, I know you can use this with a calculator as well, but it's a little bit easier this way. Just do equals sum of all the scores below the column that you want, which is uh, the column with 99 values in it. Uh, close that off with the parentheses and then add to that in parentheses 99 divided by 2. And that will do it. That will show that you have 233.5 scores and I will even change the decimal place there a little bit, make it a little bit cleaner. And then to calculate relative standing, simply all you have to do is take that score and then divide it by the total number of scores. So in these particular data, there happen to be 530 data points. So we can do equals this value divided by 530 and hit enter and that will give you your relative standing score 0 0.440566